Western Spain Television. Ours it is. It's another beautiful edition of your favorite gospel show on television. And I welcome you to the Spring Gospel Show on Western Spring Television. Star Times Channel 190 DTT. My name is Oluwaka Ode Alaka. And on this show today, we shall be having a lot of inspiring conversation with our guests on issues as it affects the gospel music industry in Nigeria. Aside from this conversation, we have a lot of beautiful musical videos for your viewing pleasures. Plus, we shall also be celebrating our Gospel Artists of the Week, even today on the show. Now, these are many more beautiful moments that shall come your way right after this break. Please stay with us. Is already let out of the back, and our guest is already seated in the studio with us. His name is Minister Abraham Cornerstone, popularly called AB Cornerstone. And AB Cornerstone is privileged to serve Jesus as worship minister, prophetic minister, music coach, and kingdom ambassador. He is the founder of Vocal Care House International, a student spanning four continents. He studied as a missionary at a Christian college named. University of Nations, Hawaii. He is a man helped by God in all he does. Mr. Ibrahim Cornerstone, you are welcome to the show this morning. Thank you. The privilege is mine. Please say hello to our viewers. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's so nice to be here. I, I count it a privilege of God to uh, be in front of you today. So, yeah, blessings to all of us in Jesus' name. 
What, what part of Nigeria is uh, Mr. Ibrahim Kona still from? Ah, I'm a son of the soil. I'm from Oshun State. Wow. Yeah, Elisha to be precise. Wow, Elisha to be precise. Barbaria, so I should be greeting Barbaria. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we are Elisha people, born and bred, I mean, brought up in Lagos, so I can't reply in the local dialect of the Jesha, but I understand. Yeah, you understand. <laughs> Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Amen. Your provider actually says you studied uh, uh, as a missionary yes, in uh, yes, our Tell us about yes. that. Um, that was in the year 2010. Um, I finished my course there, 2010. Um, the place was, um, I had to travel to Ghana okay. for the, um, the, we call it base. Base. Uh, like um, a satellite campus okay. of the University of the Nations um, there in Ghana. So that was where I was uh, privileged of God to go and study as a missionary. I've always known that God's hands has been upon me for ministry. And um, after my she uh, secondary education, I tried all I could to go to the normal, you know, uh, university here in Nigeria, but it didn't work until that opening <laughs> came. And I traveled to Ghana and I had my studies there, after which I also served as an international missionary in the country of Ghana. Yeah, preaching in different villages and wow. towns. Yeah. But why do you choose to be a missionary? Um, it's a calling. <laughs> um, I didn't choose it. Like, if mm. I had my way, I could have become a chartered accountant mm. or any of those professional, um, anything that has to do with business and all of that. But God has another plan for mm. me. So after a few attempts and it wasn't just working, and um, through prayers, I discovered that, hey, you are not meant to go to that, I mean, through that route. Mm. Yeah, you are supposed to go and learn about the things of God mm. so that you can be a vessel, you know, um, in the things of God to the nations. Mm. So which is why I have to leave my own country, wow. travel to another nation mm. and then study and also have the privilege of serving mm. by his grace. Mm. So where mm. does the passion for music come from? The passion for music has always been there. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's, it's my grandmother who happens to be a prophetess, wow. founder uh, in one of those um, white garment denominations, mm. um, was a, a, an amazing singer. Mm. So I grew up under her. Um, all, my mom sings, my aunties, my uncles, mm. those of them who do not sing, play one instrument or the other. And my dad, I grew up also watching him. If he has like two hours uh, morning devotion, mm. like one hour is dedicated to singing. Wow. So I grew up in that atmosphere of music, and I, I guess that was where it started, you know. I mean, everything started, mm. you know. And um, over the years, I just discovered that I have passion for it. Mm. I mean, when I was little, I used to put all, all these uh, bow, uh, bowls oh, and cups together and be beating <laughs> in the house, you know. And from there, um, under my grandmother's influence, I learned how to play this traditional, we call it Agbamole. Agbamole, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And uh, from there, I gave my life to Jesus right here in this, in, I mean, Oshun. In, the, in Oshun State. Mm. And um, right from that year, I gave my life to Jesus. I learned how to play drums, um, the drum set. I composed my first song that same year, which was the year 1996 mm. at Christ Life Church, um, Sword of the Spirit Ministries. Mm. And um, by the grace of God, from there, it's just been from one level to another level. Mm. You know, and God has just kept pouring his grace on me mm. in that area of music. So mm. when I went for missionary studies in Ghana, Ghana. Mm. I was studying. But then, you know, the Bible says the gift of a man will always make room yes, for him. Yes, sir. So right there, even in the college, mm. they observed that that you grace was there. Grace. So mm. I was, you know, um, called to serve in the worship team. Mm. And I remember uh, the year I finished my studies there, 2010, mm. I had a conference, mm. like a music conference, you know, because I told them I'm also a coach, sir. Mm. So that started way, way back. So I had my first music conference there for music ministers mm. and all of that. So we're doing the missionary thing, and I was also serving in the music and um, uh, worship um, department. Yeah. So by the grace of God, so it's just been on and on until I now, um, I finished my studies, I came back to Nigeria, and then I was serving as an associate pastor. Mm. And after that, I served there for like four or five years when wow. God now said, it's time. Mm. Go into the music ministry fully. 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 Mm. 
uh, with a major emphasis on coaching and training, and then you'll still be serving as a minstrel and as a worship minister. And of course, when the opportunity presents itself, we still minister in other you know, uh, dimensions as well, be it mm. word or in other areas. Mm. So basically, that's how the journey has been. Mm. So how many music guys, instruments do you play now? Um, I play uh, drums, I play keyboard, I learned the bass guitar at some point, but I played it actually for, but it's not really my, it's not really my area of strength, mm. but at least I play up to like three or four instruments. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That, that's yeah. great, that's yeah. great. Now let me yeah. ask you this, of all your songs that you have written, which of them precisely is your, is your favorite? Wow. <laughs> all my songs are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are saying in terms of how well um, the songs have performed, there is one of them that I cannot but thank God for. Mm. And that is the song um, Moria Anuba. Moria Anuba. Yes. Mm. I wrote the song when I was still pastoring. Mm. And um, right from the time I wrote the song, which is almost 12 years now, mm. 10 to 12 years, I guess. Mm. You know, um, right from the time I ministered that song for the first time the reception you know in terms of the people listening and then um the testimonies mm. has just been mind-blowing yeah, yeah and that's a song that later on i mean a couple of years ago one of my guys my boss in music ministry in the person of toluchi okay you know had to re-record the song wow. of course after taking permission from wow. me re-record the song and the last i heard i think the song has almost more than forty thousand um, well, views on views YouTube. on youtube wow yeah mm. and a couple of other music ministers have recorded it as well wow. to simbi has recorded the song wow. um, um, um this our man this party my christian party man um, uh, laulu laulu mm. benjo also has mm. recorded the song wow. and a few others as well wow. so i would say well as god has been faithful that's that song represents um God's faithfulness. Mm, wow. yeah. Viewers at home, you have yeah. added that song mm. is his favorite. And of course, I also love the song so much. <laughs> I sing it Thank you, in sir. the church regularly, and my wife also loves it song. Wow. And wow. because of this, we are going to go on this short musical break uh, with Mori Anuba. And uh, I also saw another song called The New Norma. We are going to play those songs back to back, and we'll be right back after this break. Please stay with us.
Inspiration behind these songs. <laughs> uh, that was um, um, we recorded the song um, in 2020. That was when we had the issue with uh, COVID-19, mm. and um, it just I was sleeping actually, mm. and then the song came mm. in the dream. So and I woke up, I, I jot down the lyrics, I mean, pen down the melody, and the Lord said, "Go into the studio, record the song," which I did. I, I told my producer then, um, Yomikis. Please, I have the song, and he, he did a fantastic job. And the Lord said, don't just record the audio, shoot the video. And which we did, and by the grace of God, it was one of the songs that was premiered at um, Channel's uh, television. And um, the Lord just gave us a very beautiful, you know, experience with that one. Mm. So, and we thank God now, post-COVID-19, here we are, bouncing in the Lord. We survived. We thank God for all of us, and um, we give God the glory. Mm, we, bless, we bless the name of the Most High God. And yeah. Moria Anuba, the inspiration behind it. Um, I cannot really say it's an inspiration. I would just say that song is a gift. Mm. Because I wasn't even planning to write a song. I wasn't planning to write a song. I think I was praying. Mm. and No, I finished praying and I was just lying down. Wow. It's one of those songs that I say that the angels, the song into my hey, ears. Wow. I just heard the melody. And immediately I heard it. I know that was a song. Mm. And I just penned it down. And the Lord gave his inspiration, go and record the song, which we did. And to the glory of God, that song has been a blessing to that's, nations. I mean, people are, are from different nations, Nigerians in different mm. nations. And, you know, we just bless the Lord. Mm. Mm. To, God, to God be the glory. Mm. Plus, it, 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 it's, I can identify with the song because it, 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 it fits in into my testimony. Whatever I am today is nothing short of God's mercy. Mm. My foundation in life was filled with a lot of battles, but I thank God. So I guess that's another, you know, thing that came when I was developing the song because I could just relate with what the song is mm. saying. Mm. God's mercy. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. 
God be the glory. Hallelujah. It was a, such a powerful, powerful song. Uh, no matter God, this takes us to our next line of conversation. Uh, because I know I've read from your profile that you're at least you're a vocal coach. Yes. Yeah. And uh, these days, people are not really putting emphasis, you know, the significance of uh, vocal coaching for music artists. You yes. Just like every, you just seem as if everybody can just sing. Yes. Of course, everybody can sing. Yes. But there are some processes to it. Yes. How significant is vocal coach training for musicians? Ah, okay. So, um, by way of emphasis, I am more of a gospel yeah. um, vocal yeah. coach. So, I work mostly with church um, or gospel um, artists. Um, how important it is, is um, cannot be overemphasized, sir. Mm. Because um, before I, I went into training, I remember I was going to, I got a scholarship for advanced studies in the US, mm. 2012, 2012 mm. which I applied for, I prayed for it, mm. and eventually I, I got denied. Wow. So, and I went back to God in prayers, and I was like, God, what happened? I prayed, this was, this was an opportunity that we have been trusting you for. And he said, you cannot travel yet, because your work here is not done. Wow. So, and um, I was like, okay, so what is exactly am I still supposed to do here? Because what I'm going there to do is also kingdom. Mm. He said, it's another university, a uh, Christian university. Okay. So he said, no. He said, I have an assignment for you to coach and train my children wow. in the music and worship um, ministry. Mm. And so that conversation led to some of the deficient um, spots mm. that are there when you attend church concerts mm. and, you know, gospel programs. And um, so that led me to go and start to do research. I started paying more attention so when I go for programs, mm. music programs, and I've, I started seeing a lot wow. that, and one of those revelations is because we in the church, we mm. have free access to the platform. Mm. It's a ready-made platform. It, it is. You are not the one that labored mm. for the audience. Mm. You are not paying for the all. You are, you are not buying the mm. instruments mm. like secular artists do. You have to, you have they, to get all they this. They are putting up a show. Mm. They've got to do the PR. Mm. They've got to do the publicity. Mm. They've got to get the event management mm. and all of those mm. things. We don't have. Mm. Church does that for mm. us. Mm. So a lot of singers do not even pay attention to capacity development mm. so that's when you go for a church program and then you are sitting down you know you are expecting a very excellent performance and somebody takes the mic and in the space of 10 minutes the person has used about four keys doing what i call <laughs> self-modulation you know independent <laughs> modulation because you are the only one modulating the people accompanying you are not modulating then i also discovered that those who don't have that issues you know, they have these vocal challenges. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've met, I mean, I've coached a lot of people and I've met with a lot of them over the years. And if, if it is not about range, somebody is talking about pitch. Mm. If it's not about pitch, somebody is talking about dynamics. So I just want to do well. So when the Lord told me that and I made my own research, I see that, man, there is a lot of work here. To be done, yeah. Which is also, well, in fairness to some of these people, we cannot blame them. The way we do music in Nigeria, particularly in the gospel, you know, space, um, is that we serve God as a means of serving spiritually mm. for those for those of us in music in the music space. Mm. So you are joining a choir because oh, I just want to serve the Lord. I have okay. a voice. I just want to serve the Lord. Mm. But you see, as music is both a spiritual service, it's also a professional structure. Mm. It has professional principles that backs it up. Mm. So most times when we get introduced to service, so you see your pastor will just call you. Oh, I heard you sing the other day. Come, Come and, and join the choir. <laughs> Oh, I feel like my friend is in the choir. I also I want, want to, to join, join the choir. Mm. So, but in, in, in the Western world, mm. it's not like that. Mm. They have that structure of training. Mm. That if you are going into the choir, to, if mm. you don't have that formal training before, mm. there is a provision in the church. Mm. That is why we keep downloading their, their stuffs. Why? Because most of those guys that we see there, they, start, they started with that strong foundation of training. So the mm. Lord said, I want you to stand in that space. Mm. And then train my children. And God has been good. It's been eight years this year that I went into it full time. I've been doing it part time for almost 18 years. And um, we've been able to do a lot of things. And as my profile, you know, um, mentioned earlier on, I have students in about four continents. Mm. People that I've never met before. Mm. You know, we just connected online. This, the, I mean, somebody that somebody referred or somebody saw something I posted and then it's getting better. Right. We are getting there by the grace but, but, of God. But, but, you know, some people actually argue that since we are gospel artists and we rely on the Holy Spirit for 
inspiration? Do we need to be coached? Uh, and what aspect of the coaching do we really need? Is it on the voice? Is it, is it on the way we start? Thank what? you, sir, for asking that mm. question. Psalm 33, verse 3. He didn't just admonish us to praise God. He said we should do it skillfully. <laughs> now, th there is a place for the anointing. There is a place for skill. Mm. The Holy Spirit part of what we do is we rely on him for direction. We rely on him for empowerment. We rely on him to do what we cannot do. Mm. Why we have to work on ourselves mm. to develop the skill. If you put 10 music ministers in the room now, they are not going to perform at the same level of, of skill. The anointing can be present with the 10 of them. Mm. But as a coach, if I sit down, I can tell, okay, this one is lacking in the, in the area of range. Mm. She, she cannot sing as high. She mm. cannot maintain that highness in pitch. Mm. She's, she's vibrating with anointing. But her range is, is the issue. Another person is pitch. The person cannot hold a note. Mm. Maybe the person is doing ad lips and I can pick one or two off notes in it. The anointing is still functioning, but I can hear off notes in the mm. person. Mm. You know, another person, it is beats. They take the first song, the second song, by the time they are taking the third song, the person is jumping beats. <laughs> the anointing is still flowing, but that part is there. Mm. And that area is as a result of deficiency in the mm. platform or on the platform of skillfulness. Mm. That's why the man who embodied, you know, worship, and music with excellence in the Bible, which is David, David. is the one that, you know, in the book of Psalms, you do it skillfully. Do it skillfully. No wonder the Bible says he's the man after God, because mm. he not only satisfied the aspect of the anointing, mm. he also satisfied. I mean, for somebody to play, you know, and it was brought to the precedence now, mm. I mean, the king, the that king was in that, our wow, contemporary, look at this, look that at there this is somebody, there's mm. a skillful musician. Mm. It's not just the anointing that mm. recommended him. Mm. It is his level of skill. So those who say yeah. uh, we have the Holy Spirit, uh, wait until you have an opportunity that is not on a spiritual platform. And I will give you a very quick example. The people who, con who context for most of these major singing competitions, mm. whether it is Nigerian yes, Idol yes. or it's uh, uh, Glow, MTN Project Glow, Fame Glow, Glow, Glow. or any of mm. those Glow mm. Niger Saints, mm. 99 point whatever percent of them are from the church. Yes, they are from the church. And these are people that before they have access to such... A, a platform platforms. are giants in their churches. These yes. are people that they are the lion of the tribe <laughs> of their churches when it comes to singing. Of course. Until they go for auditions. Mm. Now, the, the, the challenge is in your church when you sing, yes, people will love you. Most times we are having spiritual experience, mm. not musical experience. Mm. So people will even applaud you when you have even sung off key. Mm. But on that particular platform, it's not really a church platform. It's a secular platform. Mm. So the people they brought, they are not there to have spiritual experience. Mm. They are there to check and monitor what you are doing. So all those things that you get away with in your church, you cannot you get away yes, with because you are sitting with platform. professionals. Because you are sitting with professionals. Mm. Who are, well, one or two of them can also be, even be ch children of God. Mm. So when they come, most of them get the shock of their lives mm. because they are expecting the same applause they get mm. in the church. But here, people, then, okay, 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 stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Some 30 seconds into the performance, my friend, stop, get out of my stage. <laughs> and you are like, God, that's the first time. So for a lot of people, that was a very, you know, what we can call a rude awakening. Mm. So and you will see them, when they come out of such kind of experience, they will tell you, oh God, I thought I knew how to sing. Mm. But really, Man, I really I mean, don't I know how to know. sing. <laughs> so which is why it is important. I advise pastors, I advise churches, train your people. So that on the day they find themselves on such a platform, they are not just going to depend on the anointing alone. Mm. They can so dot all the highs and cross all the T's mm. and still come out on top, as we have had a couple of them do over mm. the years on such uh, platforms. Mm. But can can coaching, some people have said diet, the kind of food that you take, probably some people say before you go for administration, don't drink yeah. cold water. Do, yeah. Can it correct a, let me say, let me use a frog, a frog voice. Oh yes, it can. It can, it depends on, now mostly it's not just about coaching because in my experience, what I've seen is that people want to solve a five year problem in five minutes. And it doesn't work like that. Mm. It's like we are using, uh, you say, okay, you, somebody has cancer and is using malaria drugs. You know, if, you, if it's malaria, you can treat it in three days. Mm, if, it's, if it's cancer, if God helps you, it's something that you manage and if the anointing mixed with it, you get healed. Now, when it comes to that kind of issue, it's about time, number one. Are you willing to put in the time? Number two, it's about um, practice. Are you willing to practice? I see people come for coaching sessions, but they will tell you, same people say, oh, I have this issue, my voice is sounding like this, I don't want it to sound, I want it to be smooth. But at the end of the day, you give them assignments, they are not ready to do it. 
they are like, okay, I'm too busy. If, if, you, if you continue to say you are busy, the coach cannot take your voice to be his voice and do the practice of for course. you. Mm. You will have to walk. You know, I'm saying this so that in case there's anybody who is out there, we say, okay, I've gone for one coaching, doesn't work. I will ask you the question. How much time did you devote to the things mm. that you were taught? Mm. It's not just about you having the head knowledge. Mm. In, you see, in singing, if you are going to maximize coaching, you have got to translate what you call head knowledge into experiential knowledge. Mm. And experiential knowledge is not just gained by theory. It is by practice. Practic it is by you Practic doing it and doing mm. it. Okay. Mm. So no matter the state of the voice, I have seen Minister Matade, which mm. I know yes, you yes, also he, know, he was, was a very bad singer. Mm -hmm. But today, mm. that man is one of the anointed skillful singers. And even me as a coach, I respect wow. anytime wow. he sings. Mm. So it's, it's an example. Ma I am also an example. Mm. I didn't start out with singing. Mm. I was an instrumentalist. I just desired I must know how to sing. And over the years, I started putting in the efforts, training here, training there, and I put in. And today, I'm not yet there, but at least mm -hmm. I can you, sing you, to a reasonable you're extent. Almost there. <laughs> uh, well, 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 well. Glory to God! You know, one one of the gospel artists that I also respect so much uh, for his, you know, powerful voice is Minister Iben. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and on this oh, show, yeah. we we usually celebrate our a gospel artist every week, and our gospel artist of the week is Minister. Iben. Iben. I oh, celebrate amazing. him. I love him so much amazing. for his uh, powerful song. Uh, we want, we'll be going on this very quick break uh, to listen to the sound of uh, Mr. Iben. And when we come back, the conversation will be rounding up. Please stay with us. Emmanuel Benjamin, born on September 9, 1979, known professionally as Iben, is a Nigerian gospel singer, vocalist, and songwriter. He is from a Christian family and attended Orile Primary School and Community Grammar School, Orile, Lagos. In 1997, Iben started his singing career and was mentored by his elder brother as a rapper, but he later discovered his talent in singing and became a gospel singer. In 2007, Iben released his first album, On The Rock, which includes songs like Imarama, God Day, Iwani Kong, I Don't Hammer, and other tracks. In 2010, he released a follow-up album, Phenomenon, which included songs like Superman, Imela Papa, Tiyama, and several other tracks. In 2013, Iben released another album titled Justified, which includes songs like You Alone Are Worthy, Oye Mwem, How I Love You, Forever, and All The Way. Eben also has a record label called Ama House Of Raw, which specializes in video and music production. Only you, Jesus. Another album titled Magnified, with songs like Fade On You, Everything, Hidden Ma, Lifted Hands, and all the worship songs. Even went viral after he released a song titled Victory. On September 15, 2019, Even hosted a live concert called Joyful Noise. Even and Jadiel had a white wedding and was joined in holy matrimony by Pastor Chris Oyakilome of Christ Embassy. They are blessed with two children. Emmanuel Benjamin is our celebrity artist of the week on Spring Gospel today. Nobody else is worthy. I descend to love. I descend to love it all. Only you. Hallelujah. 
Alléluia 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 C'est quand je dis tout un petit pour des Celebrate Minister Eben. Yes, so uh, respect. <laughs> what do you have to say about Minister Eben? <laughs> ah, that man, consistency. Mm. Yeah, he started out as a youth music minister. Mm. And uh, do, during his days at um, Christ Embassy. And look at where God has brought him today. I mean, he's one of the guys I respect so much, particularly in the terms, in terms of songwriting. Mm. His songs are deep. His songs are a blessing over the years. So, Minister Eben, respect. Mm. 
respect. And I also know you are going to a greater height too. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. In fact, Amen. I know you are you are already on, on the path. Amen. I saw a video of you in Asorok. Yeah. You know, ministering during, yeah. I don't yeah. know, I think two years ago. Two years ago, yes. Two How was that ago. feeling for you? Ah, it was like the best feeling ever. <laughs> I mean, it, when God tells you some things that looks impossible, that was one of them. Before that experience, God had been telling me about Asorok. Mm. But, you know, who did I know there? <laughs> None of my family members have been there before. Been there. <laughs> How will I get there until the call came? Wow. And to the glory of God, we were able to lead a team of 29 people for that wow. national carol service. Mm. I mean, it was one of the best experiences of awesome. my life. And it was awesome. Performing there before mm. um, the vice president mm. of Nigeria and a couple of other dignitaries in our nation, I mean, it was the highest, you it's, know. It's, yeah. I yeah. had goosebumps myself. Oh, oh God, oh God. It was, <laughs> we thank God, sir. It will God be the glory. God be the glory. Now, now, as we begin to round up, of course, you must have one or two things that you are working on. Uh, in 2024, what should we be expecting from our minister? Uh, oh, 2024. Mm. Okay, um, we believe God. Okay, so last year the Lord gave us an instruction to put together a 700 minstrel choir, which we did, and we had a live recording with the physical members, about 200, 200 plus actually. And this year, by the grace of God, we are going to be releasing our songs. Mm. We recorded about 14 songs um audios and videos but this year we are, i think we are working on the audios first so we'll be releasing that and by the grace of god the coaching aspect of what we do as well continues and then um, a, a couple of some other projects um outreaches that we are also planning um outreach concerts and um yeah by the grace of god mm. yeah it shall come to pass amen the mighty name of jesus so amen. your final word for those watching you at home uh gospel artists music ministers what do you have to say to them I want to say, keep doing what you are doing. The word that God gave us for this year, for all my students around the world, is to tell them that to pursue the kingdom. Dear gospel music minister, don't just pursue the platform. Don't just pursue the honorarium. Don't just pursue the recognition. Don't just pursue the awards. Pursue the kingdom. Ensure that you are doing what you are doing because you are doing it for the Lord and his kingdom. And most importantly, don't just do it for yourself. Do it for others. It for and others. as you are doing it for others, God will send others to help you do your own. I'm here today as a privilege, you know, through the man of God. It's because they see us doing what we are doing. God has raised them. And thank God for this television station as well. Thank mm -hmm. God for Pastor, I mean, mm -hmm. Pastor Femi. Pastor Adifila. <laughs> yes, Pastor in Jesus' name. Yes. You know, and all the crew members <laughs> and everybody working here. Mm. So do what you do. And if you are pursuing the kingdom, you can be very sure God will put you out there mm. and do the desires of your heart. Mm. Mr. Ibrahim Conaston, thank you so much. For it's a coming. pleasure, sir. Thank you so much. Thank for you for the honor, the sir. Uh, we hope to, uh, when we call you next time, we hope that you oblige us. It will be my joy. Uh, so God be the glory that has been the show uh, for the past one hour. I want to sincerely thank all our viewers, wherever you are watching us from, and uh, everyone that has been behind the scene. I want to appreciate our executive producer. Uh, Dr. Femi Adifila, man of God has prophesied that he will soon be a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> and my, HO, my HOS, uh, Mr. Peter Agbeshimi, and all the wonderful people behind the camera, uh, all the directors, all the editors, and everyone that has made this program to be a success. Please let us uh, read your feedback on those numbers that is already showing across your screen. And do well to follow us on all our social media platforms. And by the grace of God, we'll be getting back to you. I remain your host. See you next week by God's grace. Lord, I just want to thank you. How could I ever repel? Jesus, you're taking the pains away from me. And you're giving me victory. Yeah. Everywhere I go, blessings follow. Follow, follow, follow. Anything I do, favor, favor.